Welcome to our lecture line. Our next example deals with a rope that's suspended across a peg like this. It has two masses attached to the end of the rope. We have a known mass on one side, 5 kilograms, and an unknown mass, M2, on the other side. Assuming that the coefficient of static friction is 0.4, and of course the wrapping of the rope would be one half the complete circle around the peg here, what would be the maximum mass you can place on this side before they both start slipping before they start moving. Obviously, once they start moving, the coefficient of kinetic friction is smaller, and of course, the thing will begin to accelerate. The whole system, I should say, will begin to accelerate. So what's the maximum M2 we can attach here before everything starts slipping? Well, what we need to do here is again start with the same equation, that T2 over T1 is equal to E Oh, man. Oh, that was a tickle like crazy. Uh, it's equal to E to the coefficient of static friction times the angle of wrapping, of the string wrapping around the peg. Since we're looking for T2, we can say that T2 is equal to um, T1 times E to the mu sub s times beta. All right. T1 is simply the weight, oh, I got to cough again like crazy. <coughs> oh, there's something in the air up here. You get it too, right? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think I can try to continue. Okay. T1 is going to be equal to the weight of this object, so we can then write that T2 is equal to m1g times e to the coefficient of static friction, 0 0.4, and the angle would be a half of 2 pi, half a complete circle, which would be pi. That will tell us the tension we can place um, well, the tension that can be on this side before everything starts slipping. So 0.4 times pi, make that the exponent. And so what that tells us is that T2 is equal to 3.514 times M1g, times the weight of the other side, like that. So in other words, we could place a, an object here that has 3.514 times the mass of M1. And therefore, we can say that M2 is equal to 3.514 times M1. So we multiply that times 5, and we get 17.57 kilograms as being the the maximum weight, or I should say the maximum mass, that we can place on this side before everything starts slipping. And that's how it's done.